Hey guys, Melissa here, and I am doing a tutorial on how to blow out hair like mine, which I have a lot. And um, I'm also going to do a little review on the Anu um, cleansing conditioner. So I tend to get a lot of these, and I like to review them because with hair like mine and maybe like yours, when it's thick and it has texture, um, it takes a lot to cleanse it properly, but because I do color treat my hair, I'm really um, interested in always having the least aggressive way of cleansing my hair, keeping the moisture, not stripping out the color. So, anyways, the main part of this video will be me blowing out this mop. So just to let you know, I did use the Anu Cleansing Conditioner. I did put just a little bit of uh, macadamia oil conditioner on the ends of my hair because they can get kind of dry. I'm still growing out some overprocessing that happened. And uh, I will also be, or I also prepped my hair. Okay, now I don't know where I put it. I prepped my hair with Miracle 10 Styling Cream. So um, normally I use this as a styling cream where I would wear my natural texture, but today I'm going to blow it out to see how it goes. I don't know. I'm just feeling adventurous, I guess. And I'll also be using my T3 um, blow dryer and my Olivia Garden um, Ceramic Ion Thermal Collection Round Brush, and it is NT82, so it's a big boy. Um, these are my favorite brushes. I actually do use these in the salon almost every single blowout. This is my very personal one. I'm gonna rip off the tag. Um, I've only used it one other time, and it wasn't for a full blowout. So I'm excited to do it on myself, but I do this like, you know, sometimes six, seven, eight times a day. <laughs> but to do it on myself is a whole nother story. And uh, so to start, first thing I'm gonna do, I combed out my hair already, detangled. Um, with my old comb that I've had for maybe like 10 years that was like some ionic comb and now it's just an old comb with that needs to be washed every now and again. But that's my favorite way to brush through my hair. I don't brush brush my hair unless it's already smooth. I use this comb, start from the bottom, rake it up, and that's how I keep my hair in the good condition that it's in. Okay, now I just split down the middle. Now I'm going to split right down about where just behind my ear just like so and i've got my beautiful little pink clips uh, probably in the drawer where they should be so i wasn't thinking I'll start with the front section and i'll just make this one big section that's my daughter trying to get in getting ready because i'm going out for her her father's birthday. We're gonna go to dinner. Maggie, I'll be out soon. <laughs> so, second section on the right side, my right side. And I'll just section that out of my way. Okay. So, first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and section this front off. I'm gonna start with the back because I need all the muscle I can use for that back section. I have a lot of hair. So I'll take that back section here, and you can use your comb or your finger, and just make a section that's about as wide as the brush. Okay, that's why I like the big boys, because I get less sections and less work. So I'm gonna clip this out of my way, and use my T3. Now my hair has been air drying for about 20 minutes, so it's very lightly dry. Um, perfect for blowing out, about you know 70% dry. Um, I'm probably going to just lightly hit it without the brush, then I'm going to go right into the brush. But it's very, it's already dried a lot. If your hair is dripping, make sure to not lightly towel dry by squeezing it out. Then um, use the blow dryer without the concentrator, lightly blow dry it to about 70, about 70% 70 dry. Okay, and you'll save yourself a lot of work. So here we go. Oh, the setting is going to be on high, highest heat, and highest, um, Fan. Help. Okay, and after that light blow dry, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to lightly comb through it and roll it under. 
So see how I'm catching it into the brush? If I let go, it's going to stay. That's something I like about the Olivia Garden brushes that, let me show you, you'll probably see here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the bristles have little corkscrews on there and that's meant to actually grip the hair while you're smoothing it. You get a less expensive brush, not only will it not necessarily have the charge, the ion charge and the nanotechnology that uh, this one does, but it'll have straight bristles. So it's not helping you grab that hair and hold it taut. We're not trying to pull the hair and stretch the hair while we're drying it, but what we are trying to do is hold it in the position and then smooth down the cuticle. So you'll see as I begin, but you can see what a good grip this kind of brush actually gives you. So if you're blowing out your own hair and you have a lot like me, it's a little bit easier. Now always blowing down the cuticle. I'll go from up top, now I'm gonna flip around, I'm gonna go from the other side. You see that? I'm rolling up instead of down this time. Much harder to do on yourself than other people. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and twist. Once I get through the back, it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. But the back is one of the curliest areas. I'm also due for a haircut and it's long. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the section. Now the majority of it is dry, so I'm just going to focus on the ends. Sometimes those ends need extra love, sometimes the roots need extra love. So, you know, whatever area needs a little additional, give it to them. Okay, now, to give a little bit of curl, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my hair, and then hit it on the cold setting, taking it off the heat, so it's all there. There's also a cool shot at the end of the faster. And then you see the ground with the cool air. Now, why do we hit it with the cool shot? Because we just, we just um, smoothed down the cuticle. Now we want to have it hold in that position. So having hitting it with a cold shot really helps it to seal in. Especially when you're not using, you know, 400 degrees like an iron, but you should be able to get the same smoothness from a blowout that you would get from an iron. I've heard some stylists say that ironing is cheating. It's a lazy man's blowout. And you know, I kind of agree. And not to say that, you know, iron work is not beautiful, because it can be. But um, at the same time, you know, I believe it's, um, you know, kind of showing them what skills we have. Why are we professionals? What are they paying us for? So yes, you can do it at home, but you better believe that I don't blow out my own hair regularly. I'd rather have a professional do it any day. So it's a great treat to be pampered. And again, it's easier for someone else to do it with my type of hair than it is for me to do it. So I'm happy to have a professional do it and know that they know what they're doing. Now, blow drying hair is not the same as blowing out hair. So this section's a little bit wetter. We'll go ahead and air dry. Starting under, shooting the dryer, going down. You 
can see how long my hair is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back and then pull down another section from the back. Never a dull moment in this house. Okay, clearly I've lost my way in this mad freaking thing here. All right, we're just gonna start over here. And we're gonna do this section, the whole thing. Oh, go ahead and watch, same technique. about the point where I start questioning my my decisions on blowing dry my own hair. I guess that's kind of normal. Okay. Get that top part here. Get that out of the way. So if you see me not moving the blow dryer, that's because it is on full shot. And if it's on heat, don't leave it staying there. You can scorch the hair. Okay. Now other side. Yes, maybe she's summoning me, but do not worry. She is with her dad. She's not out there all by herself or anything. But all the moms can relate. They will find you, and they will, they will cry. <laughs> okay, couple more sections. We're gonna be good to go. Okay, just taking those back sections again. If you take smaller sections, it'll take longer per piece. I mean, shorter per piece, but it'll take longer to you're taking more pieces. Shot, you more than likely get frizzy again later. Very important. So the back is pretty much done. I'll probably do a quick touch up. Now for the front. Oh, why these clips are getting tangled. That's what I get for getting cheap clips on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, my Tony and Guy ones though, those are the ones. That's what I use at work all day. They don't grab the hair, they hold it in place, they come right out. Everything you want in a clip. Okay, so now with the front. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out lightly, and then I'm gonna brush it up, dry it that way, and then the rest of the time go down. Look at that, one side. 
Do, like I said, I'm going to do burger cut. So those ends are going to grab no matter what I do. So. Section. Okay, so I'm going to do this one backwards. And then I'm going to do something so this will be good for this evening it'll look nice but when I sleep it'll probably get the curl back now if I was blowing out someone's hair it would not be coming back <laughs> but you know there's only so much I can do This morning on my walk was gonna be a workout. That was a workout. Okay, so now that I'm like super overheated, because I'm under my blanket of hair and I've been under the dryer, I'm going to grab my favorite comb. Where did I put it? Um, this is a common theme if you haven't noticed yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, take my favorite comb, Just brush through. Actually pretty good shape. Okay, and any areas that still look like they need to be touched, I'll just grab just like this section because it's on top. I'm gonna make sure it's extra smooth. So this will give a little extra love too. And just grab it. See how it just grabs it for me. I don't need to work that hard. Really work the enemy. Sebastian Shaper just for any areas where you have baby hairs. Um, I did not blow a whole lot of volume into my hair because I naturally have so much, but if you really want extra volume, I'm going to show you the technique. And I'm just going to get the front of my hair here, and I'm going to move it forward opposite of the way it's going to, going to lay and that goes for however you're going to style it. Low dry right in the opposite direction. And I have it on low, high heat, low fan. Just kind of encourage the hair without it blowing all over the place. Okay. Now I'm going to take off and do a cool shot. If you have a light hold hairspray like Sebastian, the um, the reshaper is a little firmer. Uh, the regular Sebastian shaper is a little bit lighter. I like that one too. But as you can see, it takes a little time, it takes a little effort. But the beauty of it is that I'm done. I'm not washing my hair for a week now. Now, if I would decide tomorrow 
because some of the frizz came back and I think, oh, you know, I want to throw a little bit of curl in it, I can do that. Let me see, I'm gonna pull out my bag of tricks. I'm just gonna use this short, sexy hair, play dirty. I actually really love this stuff. It um, is a texturizer. I loved it when my hair was shorter, but when you pull that through the ends, that gives that pretty PC look. So I don't know about you, but my hair is always best the day after I wash it. So, there you go. That is my blowout tutorial. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to hear from me or see from me, please leave it in the comments and please remember to subscribe. Um, I am building this site and you know it'd be nice to have people who are actually interacting. So um, again, the Anu cleansing conditioner. I actually like it. It's light. It cleaned my hair. It doesn't feel like it has buildup and uh, it didn't suds up or anything so it kept my uh, semi-permanent color very well. So if you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. Hey guys, it's Melissa. It's day two after my blowout. And I just wanted to show you why I said the day after is always a little bit better. So I haven't even brushed my hair this morning. I literally rolled out of bed and uh, did my makeup and I'm at work right now waiting for my client. So just a little example of spending a little time doing the blowout is not bad um, if you can just kind of have your hair ready. Now I'm considering curling it right now, but I think I can just leave it. So it's up to you if you would want to do that. A uh, little side note about the product I use, the conditioner. The thing about conditioners is I always focus uh, shampoo on my roots and conditioner on my ends, like you should, right? So a conditioner, it's like, oh, you put it all over. So I did notice that it's a little heavy up here. It's not as voluminous as it is on day two after a blowout. But the thing about that is um, I didn't focus on blowing out to give me that volume. I did a little bit and I have a little bit of volume, but had I focused on doing a root lift in my blowout, I would have counteracted that. So since I use the conditioner, um, I probably should have just did a little bit more blowout volume techniques. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and follow up with you guys. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know.